Hello crafty friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little tutorial for you guys. Um, I've already done a lot of the work because the tutorial I'm doing has nothing to do really with assembling uh, the cart part of this. But I'm going to be working with the new Scrap Diva Designs uh, Market Stand Mini Album. And what I'm making is, and I previously shared this on Instagram, this is a, I used parts of that die set and then I created a box for the middle and I created a little divider to be able to add things so this is a fun way to share goodies but what I'm going to um, share with you guys today is how to do the center part now I'm going to mention a few things before we get started on that I've already cut out my pieces of the cart now the only part that you're going to want to use on this cart for this because you want to be able to see into the cart and everything is the very inner piece which is this piece here now I cut mine I cut four of these in my colored cardstock or my heavy-duty cardstock 110 pound cardstock so that way I could do the front and the back side of both of these pieces I also layered in between a piece of white chipboard and what I use for that are the comic book boards that I got off Amazon. I literally have like 1200 of them and I use them to make projects sturdy like you guys this is very sturdy. It's not go it's not going anywhere and as an example you guys look you see like it's not going to go anywhere. I promise you. So I have basically a layer on the inside, a layer on the outside, and then the um, chipboard on the inside, and then I just layer it up and decorate it as needed. I did the same thing with the wheels. I have a layer of the cardstock on the inside, a layer on the outside. I have a piece of that chipboard inside, and then I've just layered it up. So that is what I have used. Now, you can use as much of the uh, coordinating dies that come with this as you want here are the beautiful dies that come with it you get a lot to choose from look at all the fun things that you can decorate your cart with so you've got your wheels and you've got this beautiful little banner that um, spells out the word love you've got a balloon you've got strings you've got hearts little jars little cups then you've got the pieces that you can layer to make an album to make a shaped card. Um, and then you've got this layering piece, which is the awning. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do the inner part of this after you've completed doing this piece. Again, like I said, I only used the inner parts so that you would be able to see through it all the way. So now that we have our two pieces here what you're going to want to do let me get this out of the way i don't have a lot of working room over here in my filming area so you guys bear with me okay so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut a piece of heavy duty cardstock at six and a half by five then you're going to score all four sides at one and a half inches pretty simple right just score it one and a half inches rotate it one and a half inches one and a half inches and so on and so forth then you're going to bend crease I didn't bring my bone fold over here and I probably should have on all four of those sides okay then determine how you want your box to come together I like to do my um, cuts for this box part here I'm going to try to get up if you can see that that score line I'm going to cut that score line all the way up to that inner part sorry you guys don't mean to fumble it's hard to make sure that I'm staying in frame and see what I'm doing. So, for you, for those of you who don't know, I'm extremely short. And so, paying attention to my camera and paying attention to what I'm working on is hard. Okay. Now, what I would do is I would come in and just miter these little edges just a tad. Just, you know, to get a little bit of the bulk out. So that you don't have any pieces like hanging or bothering or and everything lines up nicely. Again, just what I would do. You don't have to do that part if you don't want to. If you feel like your boxes come together for you without doing that, then you don't need to do it. So literally, there is no more than that. That is simple, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your pieces of your box up and you're literally just going to create that inner piece. So I did bring my glue over here. And I think on my other one, I cut some off these flaps. Um, 
you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these off so that I don't have, it's not so bulky on the inside. Sorry, you guys, that I've already added the glue, but that's how I'm going to do it just because I've got another piece that's going on the inside. So I kind of, I don't want it to get too bulky in there. So literally, I'm just cutting off pieces here. You don't have to do that. Again, you do not have to do that part. You can you leave it all in. Just keep in mind that because you're putting another piece on the inside, you may want to, you know, finagle it a little bit. Then you're just going to bring your up to the sides here. Just make a little box. I mean, that is all we're doing is we're just making a box. Super simple. Do the same thing on the other end. Let's get that piece out of the way. I love, love, love this die set. It is so beautiful and so well thought out. So I'm excited to have it in my stash. So excited to have it to create with. Now, I want you to notice something. And again, I love tutorials and I love doing it um, without any editing. Because then you can see that things are not always perfect. Do you see how some of mine overlap? And that could just be... Um, my measurements it could be a lot of different things it could have been I got the paper kind of you know wacky when I put it in there so you can just trim off any little parts that you find um, are not aesthetically pleasing to you so then you're going to take this box here I have cut a piece of cardstock at four inches by one inch and I'm going to I scored it on each end at a quarter of an inch and I'm wanting this to go inside of here so that um we can clip things to it. So let's go ahead and put this piece in. You don't have to do this part either. Maybe you just want to put treats in there. Um, I did it so that if you wanted to glue something and make a scene inside of there, you certainly could. So let's do that. Let's put that in there. You see what I'm doing? I'm just gluing that flap to the inside. Sort of, kind of, sort of halfway in the halfway point. You can eyeball it. You can measure it. If you're a perfectionist, by all means, measure it. I'm not much of a measurer when I don't need to. I mean, if it's necessary, like making the box, I find it necessary. This part, I don't. So there, you have your little piece inside so that you can clip things to it. Or you can just divide. I mean, if you're wanting to put like ephemera, if you're wanting to gift ephemera or stickers or embellishments or whatever you're wanting to do, that's going to determine how you want to do the inside of your box. Now, all you're going to do, and this is the most simple part, is you're going to take one piece of this, which is one side of your cart. So you have two sides that are going to be opposite of one another. You're going to take this piece, and I turned mine over. So that I could see a little better. I'm going to put some glue on. This piece here. And then I'm going to go in and just place this in the same. I'm going to try to do my best um, to place it. Let me pull this up so you can see. In the same place. So I'm going to put it just below where I think. Try to center it. Oops. Sorry guys. Um, I'm going to put it just below that little ridge. Do you see the little ridge I'm referring to? The pieces that stick out. So imagine in your mind that there's a little line that goes all the way across. I'm just putting that just below there. You can position yours anywhere you like. As long as it's within the, you know, that solid piece. So that is one side assembled. Super simple, right? Now all you have to do is add the other side. So, yes, I like my glue. And no, I don't, I rarely use hot glue because I live in Texas. And if you want things to stay together, you, you just use regular glue. So, again, turn that over. Bring it up. Try to center it. And get it just below that ridge. I like to see that it's about the same on both sides. And then just press it into place. 
if you're seeing my little notes there, sorry. But since I was doing this tutorial, I wanted to make sure that I wrote all my pieces so they didn't forget, even though I have it here on notes. And literally, you guys, seriously, I layered pieces of paper on the ends of this one just to finish it off. I didn't cut the pieces to do that for this, but I will. And that is it. That is it. Like, it couldn't get any more simple, right? And so if you wanted, you could just take some shred some, you know, really cute shred, put in there, put all kinds of goodies. Um, you could do candy. You, like I said, if you're crafting or if you're gifting to a crafty friend, put some crafty fun items in there. Um, here I have some of these little clips that I got from the Dollar Tree and I added a little jemmy to them. And so what I did on this other one was I just found that centerpiece and I clipped them in. I took some little things here. I had some um, little flowers in that one, but super simple. And you can decorate this to your heart's content. There is this cute, cute little um, balloon. I added the balloon and you could add the banner. It would be so cute. I just put a flower here. I've got a little like a piece of ephemera that I stuck down in there. Again, there are some flowers in there. Super simple, but I mean, you're just going to have to sort of cater this to however you would want yours to be. But I'm telling you, this is durable. This is going to hold up. If you want to send it in Happy Mail, um, I highly suggest layering up some really, you know, good pieces of... Uh, heavy duty cardstock, maybe even layer it with a chipboard like I did, completely up to you. But this is how it turns out, you guys. And then, like I said, I'm going to decorate this and I will have a completed picture over on my Instagram. So I will link below my Instagram in case you don't follow me there. I do share a lot of my projects there. Um, this die set is available and it is gorgeous and it is going to be one that you will use over and over and over again. So super, super cute, you guys you've got to go check this out so I will leave a discount uh, code in my description box for you guys and I hope you're having a great great day until the next crafty video you guys happy crafting